everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing Apple. And I'm reviewing this specifically because I called calls on this this week and I really think that this stock is higher. With the overall market today falling slightly, I mean, when you look at the market, it was a tiny, tiny, tiny move down today into support. Same thing with Apple. I really don't think that this is anything catastrophic and I believe that the market probably, well, let's just talk about Apple right now. I'll do a market video later. But anyways, right now, Apple, looking at this, this is snug as a bug in a rug right in here in the 8 period uh, moving average and the 20 period moving average. We're so close off the highs. So the previous high was 327.85. That 330 number is out there. Apple's going to hit it. It's just a matter of time, in my opinion. It's just a question of, is it going to happen next week? But what I'm waiting for, and what's very interesting here is, again, this was, this was the earnings on Apple. And the way, the, the momentum that came in was not as big as expected, okay? So based on that, I'm saying, wait a minute, this is gonna sometime soon here. And again, if you look at this chart, and if you know Apple, you know the way the stock trades, and you watch it all the time, looking at this, it, it's just been nice and easy and a good rallies, and it's rallying, but you don't have any big, fat, huge monster green bars in Apple, which you absolutely can have, and the stock hasn't had for a while, all right? So what I'm saying is that I'm expecting that at some point soon. That could happen in a gap up, and that could happen and take the stock up over to the 330 number, which is out there, and I believe the stock could hit. So they're coming out saying that, that initially they said Monday, that the Apple stores in China were going to reopen. Now they're saying February 15th, which is still in a week. So we'll see. Could that create a lift up to that number? Absolutely, yes. Or any news uh, between now and then. So it's very interesting, but I think that this is not a big deal, the little sell-off in here. We're not that far from the highs. Where are we going to go? I definitely don't think we drop all the way down here. So, I mean, the stock isn't going to sit here for a week at the same price point. So, you know, my opinion is this is going to at some point make the lift that I expected to happen on earnings, which was, which is, like I said, a big, fat, solid bar of buying. People wanting to come in. Once people, I think, realize that the stock is not going to fall all the way down here or all the way down here, because, again, I don't trade pullbacks. I can't even stand it when people talk like that. And yet I know traders love to talk like that. And trust me when I say pullbacks do not work as a consistent strategy to, to trade. They just don't. Otherwise, everyone will make money in the market. You buy every pullback and you never lose. So it just doesn't work as something consistently. It's not a strategy. It's, thing, it's something people do. And in my opinion, it's, it's, it's just not the right way to go about looking at price action and analyzing it. So I will say that my expectation for Apple is that it will make a new high and that once people realize that the stock is not going to do a bigger pullback that they want, people are going to buy into it. But institutional money is what I'm looking for. When I read the stock anyways, it's very, very strong here and pretty much nobody's selling off. You had this one sell-off day here, that's it. And this to me is not much. Like I said, it's snug as a bug in a rug right into here, into support. So we're going to see where this goes. I want the momentum and I want to see it and I'll know when I see it too in the gap in this to come in and then create that big fat green bar that the stock could have had an earnings and did not and shouldn't have had an earnings and did not and did make a new high after the earnings but I want to see the follow through. I want to see real serious follow through in Apple and that obviously then will lift the market as well. So I think that's coming up. Apple's been like this for a while. It's ready to make a move. The stock normally doesn't trade the way it's been. It normally has much bigger moves, and we're see, going to see where it goes into, into this week. And obviously the news and what's happening in China has been affecting this. But when you think about that, too, you say, well, wait a minute. It's, barely sell it's not really selling off. It's not going down. So once they reopen the stores, that could create the lift that the market needs to push higher. Thanks, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course or the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great weekend.